welcome back guys welcome back to another video on my channel right I better explain it to you I won't keep you long so I'm out here today trying um, the Polish Lavu or Lavu however you want to call it so uh, basically it's a uh, it's what the Polish military use it's um, actually meant it's like a poncho and a half tent so if you buy two you can button them together and make like a whole TP style tent um, and I've also got a Polish military 24 hour ration MRE so uh, it's menu SRG6 uh, I'll explain it all to you a little bit later but that's what I'm doing I'm out here 24 hours it's now 12 o'clock so I'll be here till 12 tomorrow uh, so overnight we're in the uh, in the lavu and some nice Polish dinner so full Polish on this camp uh, yeah it should be great It'd be a nice experience uh, just living off a ration so I'll catch you guys later I'll get set up and then I'll uh, probably check back in with you Okay, first mistake of the day. Duh. Right, so each when I ordered the two uh, the two ponchos, obviously to button together to make a whole tan, uh, it came with two of these, two sets of these, which have your poles, and your pegs in. So this is what you get in each one. Obviously, I assumed that because people use these as half tents as well. So I assume that each poncho came with one one set of a full length pole, but this is only half, as you can see. Not very tall. So yeah, what I'm gonna have to do, what I'm gonna do is just measure out two of these and cut a cut a piece of wood, nice strong stick, and that'll uh, that'll suffice for now, but <laughs> That'll teach me to check next time, so if you if you have ordered one, make sure you take both packs out with you. I'm just going to take that uh, sharp edge off, so we don't damage the lavu. This is actually a, a waterproof poncho and also doubles up as a top of the ground. Little birthday present for me that was.
take you for a little tour really roomy inside this is actually the size three uh, with me being six foot two I needed the the bigger size plenty of room label here if you can see so this tent was made in 19 1978 you can see it just it's older than me <laughs> put it that way a lot older okay so another big thing with these polish laboos is there seems to be a huge debate online about which way around they actually go i'm going to go and to do it both ways so I'll do this, do it this way on this camp, and then on the next time I take it out, I'll do it the other way. Right, I'm gonna uh, tuck into my Polish ration pack. So, if you do want to see a little review on this, I will, uh, I will upload a separate video for that, uh, just so I don't have to bang on about it on this one. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get started on my meals. It's uh, about two o'clock now so uh, I'm going to have the first meal and the dinner tonight and then I'm going to have the breakfast out of it in the morning so uh, yeah let's crack on with it
using a bit of fat wood today. Very damp conditions, everything's wet, so I'm just going to give it the best chance to get going. If you do uh, find that you have pretty damp logs what you've collected um, it's always a good idea to just stack the uh, logs around the rocks it kind of warms them through and dries them out as the fire goes along without burning them and then they're ready to just chuck on and minimize the smoke and the crackling So the second meal we're going for the tomato meatballs in tomato sauce. We're going for the raspberry instant tea. Well, as you can see, I'm just chilling by the fire with a bottle of, I don't know what it is, Green King IPA. Pretty nice actually. 
so I'm three bottles deep. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to just relax. Really nice. Really surprised at how tasty the um, Polish ration pack's going. One more meal left to have in the morning. Um, and then I'll be heading home about 11 a.m. And that'll be my 24 hours up in the Polish lavu with a Polish ration. Good experiences. Like I said before, if you do want to see a, a, a good breakdown of what's in the ration pack, I'll put a short kind of review video on, uh, probably on the same day as this one goes live, so. Yeah, I'm enjoying this one. There's, there's a lot of foxes. I just found a fox den nearby. And they make the most awful noise. Like a ugh, mix between a cat screaming when it's out of fight and a baby. <laughs> You'll know what I mean if you've heard one. All is well. And I hope you're all well and good. Anyway, I'm going to zone out at this fire for another hour or two, finish this bottle, and then uh, I'll probably join you in the lavo. Right then, ladies and gents, that's me for the day. I think it's about half past ten. Yeah, had a, had a nice, uh, nice experience tonight. First time in the in a Polish lavu, and also first time using a uh, military ration pack. So I'm not hungry at all. In fact, I'm pretty full. So uh, it's done its job. One more meal to go in the morning and um, I'll be setting off back home at midday. That's my 24 hours. So I'm gonna get some kip and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Morning. Oh. The old ear plugs stop the bugs getting in. Right, it is 5:56 a.m. So we have still got some. Embers, really hot coals in there, so it'll be pretty easy to get this fire started again this morning.
morning again folks right well as you can see I've just had my last meal at the 24 hour ration pack I've got to say I'm very surprised at how nice just nice it was um, all in all a good night been fed well to be honest that <laughs> there's more crisp bread cracker things than I could eat uh, I haven't touched the dark chocolate just mainly because I'm not a big fan of it obviously in a survival situation I would have to eat it and that wouldn't be a problem but I didn't need it I, um, and like I said I don't I hate the stuff <laughs> so anyway I've uh, I'm just finishing my coffee what came with the pack and then I want to get um, let the fire die out for a for an hour, uh, make sure that's put out, and then I'm, I'll be uh, cleaning up camp, and I'll be out of here for about 11:30, and that'll uh, that'll bring the 24-hour camp to a conclusion. So thanks for joining me as always. Really appreciate it. Um, next episode should be back on the. Uh, back on the bushcraft uh, shelter build um, the walls need going up on that and the roof so that should be a good one so until then bye yeah I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching